it's time to get the day started. So, I'm going to make my ketogenic breakfast. Actually, I'm leaning more toward the carnivore side of keto. So trying to do this one meal a day thing two meals <laughs> but I'm gonna add some chicken in to keep me satiated oh Ooh. I have hamburger eh, I'll do the chicken I'll do the chicken because I had it in my hand so I do this Costco frozen chicken. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in the pan. And I think I'm actually gonna cook it with the bacon strips. I have not done this before. It may be totally disgusting. Just warning you. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. So, and I'm holding this with my hand. So, um, Cooking with one hand is pretty difficult. I may set up a stand in just a minute, but yes. All right, so I'm actually gonna have to set this down so I can get my eggs cracked. I think I might need two hands for that. I like to get them fluffy. And I use my magic bullet blender for that. If I'm on top of it, I'll put a link in the description below so you can buy through my affiliate link. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a break. All right, so I use this to make them nice and fluffy and whip a lot of air into them. Also, I, I don't know why I just love my magic bullet. It used to make lots of great smoothies that were full of fructose and probably spiked my blood sugar. Now it blends up eggs and makes whipping cream for the ketogenic diet. I'm actually gonna do a lot of eggs because I want to keep myself full through lunch and then just have breakfast and dinner. That is my plan. So, set it up. Nice and frothy. Now don't freak out about how much butter I'm using. This is the ketogenic diet. It's based on fat. So here we go, butter, eggs, and stir. It's actually been a while since I had eggs. I decided to um, take a break from eggs and see if I was sensitive to them. So I'm getting back into eggs and getting used to how to cook them. I am not an expert. This is not a cooking channel. This is just, uh, I decided to vlog something. Something. And I know this is off the autoimmune paleo diet and I have an autoimmune condition. My hair loss, but We'll see what happens. I tried so many other diets. It's uh, not even funny. So this keto carnivore, I feel great on it and I don't have a lot of hunger, so that's good. I'm not like losing weight or gaining weight. 
So in my mind, that's good. Ooh, these turned out nice and fluffy and pretty. Check it out. All right. So I'm gonna show you how the bacon and the chicken is coming along. So um, it's been maybe five minutes, more or less. Um, and the chicken, because it's cut up into smaller strips, it does cook rather fast from frozen. So that's a nice thing about that, because then you just use it when you have it. All right, so I'm gonna flip this a couple more times. I think it needs another minute or so. All righty. All right, so if you've been following my ketogenic journey, um, you will know I'm using the ketogenic diet, but actually I kind of turned a little carnivore lately to address the hair issue. I'm trying to regrow my hair. It's an autoimmune condition. There are people who've been through this autoimmune condition and had their hair regrow. Um, my alopecia's been completely my hair has been completely gone with alopecia universalis for 10 years so that's quite a long time of time but a long time and um it doesn't look good after 10 years <laughs> like it doesn't that's not very promising <laughs> in terms of regrowth the number of people who regrow their hair after it's been completely gone after 10 years very small so I really just, I don't know what's wrong with my body that my hair won't grow. That being said, I feel great. Otherwise, I have lots of energy, pretty clear skin. I mean, today it looks like, it looks okay. I'm not wearing makeup. Um, anyway, thanks for watching my channel.